Hey everybody, I'm Brian. Hi, I'm Lucy. And we're with Whoa Nelly RV, RV Adventures. Adventures. And in this video, we go to the Trees of Mystery. You can't miss it because it's right there off of Highway 101 and you can't miss it because there's this huge Paul Bunyan on the side of the road. Yep, another roadside attraction. Welcome down there, glad you made it this way. So you can either take a shuttle on the way up or you can walk on the way up. because every time a tram hits the circle to get on or get off it slows down so you can get on or get off and so everybody that's on the trams that are on the way up or on the way down you slow down for a, a little bit so they can and then once the tram clears the circle to embark or debark disembark disembark debark, debark a tree bark. To disembark and then you start going again and it, it the view is incredible thank you so these will eventually close i assume if they don't you'll have some great pictures oh they do yeah yeah i'm pretty sure it's, it's like a it's like a ride at Park. Yeah, you, you got a safety first thing. I'm surprised we're not seat belted in. There we go. Looks like there's a whole bunch of steps to get up there that way. Look at that. Yeah. yeah you can see it. Yep. Yeah. We should ask them how many steps. We stopped. No, we didn't stop. Close though. It's all quietly going up. I know, I should have brought my walking stick, huh? Yeah. And my vest. Yeah. And ways to make fire. Yes. Oh, here we go. We're going again. Yeah, they slow it down so you can see what the hell you're looking at. Yeah. I mean, how fun it would have been if it would have been zip, you're there. Right? You know, like a zip line. Zoom, done. Zoom, over. Whee! Woo! <laughs> oh, you go way the hell up here. Look at this. This yeah. is so cool. Wow. Yep, that one's empty. Go. I'm gonna go again? Yeah. Look, it still goes. Wow. 
man. actually holding us on is so tiny. Is it really? I mean, look at it. Look what's holding us on. I mean, that's just so tiny. Look at the steps. This is supposed to be the way down. See, I don't see no uphill anywhere. Loud. Okay, unload. Okay. All right, that was simple. Once we got to the top, we went to the the uh, vista view, the overlook, lookout, yeah, the the deck that has that overlooks the whole thing. You can see all the way out to Pacific Ocean. We are pretty high up here. see the Pacific Ocean we wanted to see how it was that this tram on this really tiny little line went up and around right the the see the mechanics of it to see how the hell this car is being held on this inch and a half thick wire uh, <laughs> cop, uh, steel cable yeah. and it, when you look at the the mechanism I mean it, it it's pretty interesting that it's... Good thing we didn't see how thin it was before we got right. into it, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, I'll know I'm getting on there. Oh, I want to see one of these things go out and go over these wheels. Hey, it's hauling. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're... Because uh, we were in it. Look at that. looks so cool going. It's just a right, right on top of that. fun it was great great views get to the top overlooks check it all out and then when we decided to come back down instead of taking the tram we used our feet and they have a trail that starts at the top and comes down it's about a mile long and it comes back down to the uh, the, the beginning platform and the, uh, of the tram of the tram we still ended up taking a shuttle down towards the parking lot. Right, back to the uh, gift center and uh, the trails that lead to the other parts of the park. Wilderness Trail, advanced hikers only. One mile of steer rugged terrain. Please check with the attendant first. And we did that. No smoking on trail. Oh, shit. Well, look, walking sticks. Oh, wow. And it looks like they're free to use. Wilderness Trail noticed for advanced hikers only. Beware of Bigfoot area. Walking sticks it shows. One mile of very steep rugged terrain. Loose slippery surfaces. Proper footwear is required. Experienced hikers only. Please check in with lift attendant before departing. Beware 
Bigfoot area. Wilderness trail, rough terrain, steep grades. Absolutely no wheelchairs. Scooters, walkers, strollers allowed on wilderness trail, period. I want this one. This mother's. This mother, I could play baseball with this thing. All righty. All right, let's start this trail. Okay, all of my pockets are secure. All the keys are secure. Let's do it. Okay. Switchback, two of six, handrails end. Oh, I'm not going to need a handrail. Well, it's always... I can do this. No, but it's always good to be wary and mindful that it exists. With a whole bunch of loose rock right there, you're yeah, not going to want to use the handrail there. Yeah, wash out. That's what happened. See? That they came back and filled it with rock. Probably. They go wash out. Do not enter dead end. Don't, Don't get, get lost. lost. Bigfoot lives. Mm. <laughs> well, and then I say we don't go that way. And I hate to see that people have carved yeah. into this. Yeah. Well, it is a dead tree. Yeah, at least it's not a living tree. I'm kind of bummed we're not going down those stairs that we saw on the tram. I know, I was so totally going. That I didn't like about those stairs was there was no handrail. And a lot of those stairs looked really, really uh, uh, rotted. Yeah, maybe that's why they don't let anybody take that way anymore. See, I don't trust all that loose rock down there. Yeah, the steeper declines are a little tiring on the sciatica, but the overall is not bad. I know, to me it's not an extreme trail. But maybe they put that signage there to get people to be wary or careful if it is. And maybe we haven't hit the extreme yet. Yeah, maybe it's... It'd be extreme going up, oh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go up this hill. Going down is not too bad. Halfway point. Sorry, we gotta go flat. I'm gonna take my. And it looks like a little bit of uphill. And that means this way is the exit. You would have had to have been Paul Bunyan to walk down those steps in a normal fashion because they were they were 14, 16 inch drops between each step. It's just I mean I don't know who built it, but yeah. Oh my god, these these are Sasquatch steps. Really? Yeah, they're huge. I'm going to let you get ahead of me because... Because that's the exit. Yeah, and because you move, you're moving quicker. Okay, be careful here because that does not have a... Yeah, I have, that's why they do it. Yeah, these are Sasquatch steps. Jeez. Louise. Except you gotta do these ones. Gotta keep them separated. Yeah. 
So do we check in with the attendant again? Probably should. Let him know we got out got out safely. Yeah, I wouldn't go up the trail to ride the ram, that's for sure. Yeah, my son, he was just trying to join the army a couple of years ago. He was working here. And he was trying to jog up that. Oh. Oh, gee. Yeah. Maybe, maybe when I was 20 I'd do it, but... Yeah, but he, he was 18. Yeah. But he would jog up to where you get to the flat area. Walk that and then got the rest of the hill, like, the top so where is uh, all like the nine trees that grew together and all that? Where are those located? Uh, the trees are on the first part of the trail if you walk up, and then on the second half of the trail is all the wood carvings and the story of Paul Bunyan. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So if you want to see all the different trees, you have to walk up. But the one you're talking about with the nine trees, it was right here. It fell over three years ago. Oh, oh so it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it took off part of uh, Paul Bunyan's arm. Oh, wow. Oh, the oh, there was a of, like, oh that's sad. Yeah, it, they found out the inside was rotten, and if anything else fell, it was going in the gift shop. So right. I had to cut the rest of it. Yeah. Uh, All right, bro. Thanks for the ride. Thank you. You too. We found out at the end of our ride back down that we ended up missing out on a lot by not. We didn't go. To yeah, we didn't go over to the carvings, and uh, you know, um, real sad to hear that the, that nine cathedral tree. trees had yeah. fallen down three years earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was sad. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to disappear here in a second, so I'm going to tell you goodbye. Thanks for dropping by right now, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. We want to say thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe and comment and all that kind of good stuff. Hats off to you. Bye now.